Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part 31 for step by step guide to learn Angular. So if you are directly coming to this video, I will recommend you to watch previous video first and then you can come to this video. These are the topics we are going to cover in this complete video series and today we are working on the getting guide to do data and we will add our prime ng grid for getting uh, showing a data in the tabular form and this is the application which we are developing in this complete video series so let's start so the prime ng is a rich set for, for open source native angular ui components and you can find uh, multiple components uh, which you can use in your project and uh, the major thing is uh, it's open source so that is the reason i am recommending to use a prime ng so to start with the prime ng first we need to install this two commands so let's uh, copy this and let's go to visual code so i have successfully installed uh, this prime ng package and the second thing i am going to install is a uh, prime icons so in the terminal window just uh, add this command and press enter so we have installed uh, both the packages uh, successfully now go back to the prime ng website and now i can see that uh, if you will scroll down from here so i can see the styles so let's copy this styles and let's add in our project so where can we add it yes correct in the angular.json file as we added our bootstrap so let's uh, scroll down and uh, open angular.json where it is it's here yeah so let's open this let's close this terminal for now and uh, here you can see our uh, bootstrap css so below that i can add the this new css right so let's paste it here and it should be as a string so just write this same for this and similar to this one also so now we are on getting started page and if i will scroll down so i can see all the controls all the components and uh, what we need is a data component right so i can come here and uh, we can see one grid here so similar kind of grid we also required okay so let's start with the basic so let's click on basic here and uh, to work with this table first thing we need to import the module right so this is a part of table module so we need to import that module in our module so let's go to visual code and currently we don't have any shared module so for now let's import this table module in the to do module so let's come here and let's keep uh, the table module here and import uh, it here and let's show this uh, and also we need one service to get the to do list so let's open our to do service and here i'm going to add one met method to get the to do's from our api get endpoint so let's add it and uh, this is a model which we created and we used for saving also the same model i'm using now let's open our to do component and inject this service so that we can call this get to do's method right so let's uh, open our to do component so let's scroll down and here it is so where where can i inject the service yes correct in the constructor so and 
and also let's define a type for our to do so let's give it a to do array type right and let's save this and here i'm going to create one private method to get to do's and i will call my get to do's method from here so this dot service dot get to do's and i am going to subscribe to this method and let's give this dot to do is equals to items let's add it as also here and let's call this method from ng on init lifecycle hook so let's paste it here so now here in the documentation i can see this html for rendering our table so let's copy this code and come to our page and open our to do component.html and here let's add one more div and let's paste it here and uh, we are having this to do so let's copy this to do's and uh, in the value let's add to do's here and uh, also let's rename this to let to do and uh, here i will give to do dot and what are the columns we are getting from the api let's check in the api first so this is our api we are getting a task name so let's copy task name and paste it here we are getting category so let's copy category and add to do dot category we are getting uh, started so let's paste started here and add to do here similarly add end date and auto close and similar way let's change this header also so after renaming this uh, headers uh, now we can run our application so let's open our terminal and uh, run the application so after uh, running i am getting this error because this angular cdk package is missing and if we will go through the prime ng documentation so we can see that we for to work with the table we need to add this angular cdk dependency so let's copy this command from here and let's add angular cdk as well so control plus c and let's paste our command here so my angular cdk package installation is successful so now i can run my application and hopefully it should run this time so it's compiled successfully so let's go to our to do application now yeah so i just logged in and came to to do page and wow my grid is working as expected and i'm getting the to record which we created earlier but there is a two issue i can see that uh, one is my date is not looking good and second is auto close should not be false and true it should be yes or no so let's just fix this start date and for that uh, end end date and for this uh, i can use a pipe so angular pipe is used to transform your data so let's go to our code and so scroll down 
and uh, this is our start date and end date so here I'm going to add one pipe symbol right so this is a pipe and we have one predefined pipe uh, that's called date and we can pass the format so I am passing format as a long date and let's copy and paste same for end date as well and also I can add uh, expression here so if it is uh, true then I'm going to say yes as it would be no now let's see our changes so now date is looking good and uh, I can see that auto close is also looking uh, good so that's all for this video in the next video we will work on sorting and we will add a filter on our table thank you for watching